106. We're going to randomize each list seven times a piece and then stack the list up side by side. And that's how you get your year type spots. You'll be able to see, you know, what, what you get matched up with after both randoms are finished in just a moment. Seven times through for the names. And let's make sure 69 is the right number. 23 times three, yeah, 69 is gonna be correct. This is the first time I've ripped open the stamps. So I'm really excited for everybody and I wanna wish you good luck. Here we go, lucky number seven. It's a graded stamp, and all these are Gem Mint Tins stamps. You'll notice it goes down to 70. Well, that's because number one is taken up on our spreadsheet by owners and years. So there's no need for concern there. Everything's the way it should be. And let's go ahead and start the next random. The years. That's right, everything is a Gem Mint 10 stamp. Graded and perfect. Graded condition, the highest grade. Here we go, 7 times. The highest grade condition possible for a stamp. So, there is one hit. So, it's risky. Lucky number seven. It's risky business. No doubt about it. It's risky business. Somebody's going to come away with something really nice. You can see your years now in the break. Everybody's got their different years, different dates. On down the line. Let's get to it, shall we? Let's get down to business. Ho! Let's get down to business. <clears throat> Come on, big hit. Come on, big one. Come on, big hit. The year is 1940. I thought everything was a Jim Mint 10. But I guess this one is not a Jim Mint 10. 
It's a XF SUP ninety five. Nineteen forty is owned in the box break. Nineteen forty is owned in the rip by Frank. Congratulations, Frank. My oh my. This is your graded stamp. <coughs> it is a three stint US postage stamp. Let's see where this fits in, or if it's it mentioned in the description of the box break. So it is not listed here as one of the biggest hits. Okay, so, okay, I thought they were Jim Mint uh, tins through here, but there is some other ones that are not Jim Mint tins. I didn't realize that. This is my first stamp break, so. But uh, what an what a interesting hit, man, 1940 stamp. Congratulations again, Frank. Commemorating Idaho, the birth of the state, Idaho. Idaho. 